Welcome to the Inside Wolves podcast. We are your beacon for entertainment and enlightenment. My name's Q, my co-host. It's your boy Juju, a.k.a. Juan, a.k.a. AJ. And we're here. Right yeah, back yeah. at it. We're back and at it again, man. Yeah. What's up, yo? It's your boy Hef, a.k.a. J, a.k.a. O Doug. AKA oh, okay. Bishop Easy, AKA Lil Ace, AKA oh. that 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 man, AKA oh. the Goat, AKA you know, that was time, yeah. oh. <laughs> All right, bro. All right, bro. You inspired me, Juan. You inspired me. Next time, right. throwing all types of names and accolades on us. <laughs> I should have threw Juan Moses back in there. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. That one back in there. Hey, <laughs> man. But how are y'all doing tonight? How are y'all doing tonight? Doing uh, good, man. Good, man. Good. This, uh, this past weekend was, was really good for me. Uh, personally, I'm going to just give a little short, uh, little brief uh, time of what happened this weekend. Um, we, uh, Me and my woman, we announced uh, the birth. I mean, not birth, but, you know, the fact that we're expecting a child, a son, and everything like that. And uh, we celebrated her birthday. It was cool, ooh, 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 ooh. cool man. But yeah, that's, that's 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 how the weekend went. That's that good quality time right there. Mm-hmm. That's a good quality time right there. And how was your past weekend or just time spent, Jaden? Man, it was cool. Um, you know what I'm saying. Um, Omega, Omega, Omega was a really weird place. I'll tell you that. Um, had a little encounter with that today. It was really weird. If y'all didn't catch that stream, definitely go on YouTube. You can catch the yeah, the, uh, out, the video of the stream. That shit was yeah, that shit was crazy. You know what I'm saying? That joint is so funny. The joint was wild. The joint was wild. Um, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, partnered up with my boy Romeo Kojo. Special shout out to him. Um, but yeah, man, go check that out. Go check that out. Yeah. Speaking of that as well, I but I need the people watching actually if they have some experience, break something down for me here. Because personally, I don't get it. I'm not tech savvy like that. Perhaps me, you know what I'm saying. Me, I'm not necessarily the the grooviest guy. So I'm not understanding necessarily. So people from the video I seen, cats just be on Omega like on the job. On their lunch break. Yes, yeah. When they everywhere. get home comfortably, just bruh. That's some casual bruh, bruh, shit. Posted up in his pajamas with a drink and his headphones, yeah. like just just watching the screen, no background noise. Like he's watching TV and then like, oh, if somebody popped up. You look. He was just sitting there in the room doing chilling. nothing, man. Chilling, chilling, nothing chilling. But this, nothing but a man. So I yeah. need those who actually use this app to explain to me what is the benefit outside of like yeah. content creation. What what are you doing on there? And that's not even like in like a disrespectful way. That's, I genuinely want to know what are you doing on there. I feel like they honestly just be trying to just just like I don't know. Like maybe they're just people, like like a people person or something like that. Because the fact yeah. like they be on that. Like I see people. Like I've known people who be on there all day. That's crazy. Just going, yeah. just going. Talking. Like, I mean, all right. I mean, shit. Yeah, fuck that. Them niggas is lonely. That's what the fuck right. it is. Them niggas is lonely. I, don't know, man. I just know, like you said, there may be people, 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 people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. not really one of those kinds of people myself. I'm not really a people yeah. person. So I, that's probably why I don't necessarily see how. Hey, man. Those, shit was fun, though. Yeah. Hey, it's fun though. Ahead, it's fun to ahead, see yo, those yo, people. Yeah, yeah. Please check that, please check that yeah. out. That shit was yeah. Characters on there. Characters on there. <laughs> but oh man, let's slide ourselves into today's episode, and this is the key word that's going around social media, at least that I'm seeing a lot of. I know a lot of people are probably tired of hearing questions such as, "What do you bring to the table?" You've probably seen it on so many different platforms, posed the same way between mm-hmm. men and women is all over the place. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of people like Kevin Samuels came to rise in the past year or so as well. Mm-hmm. So I got to, you know what I'm saying, hone in on the key word, accountability. Uh. Accountability. Uh. Some people's kryptonite, man. But it's uh. also- Some people don't know what that is. Yeah, <laughs> number 25. Philadelphia 76ers. <laughs> Point guard. Hey, hey, 
Hey, hey, matter of fact, you just go ahead. Hey, man, we just got to let with that one. Oh, well, let me roll that. Okay, yeah. Ahead. All right, yeah. Go no, no, let me, say, yeah. let me tell y'all, because, look, as an average 70, uh, Philadelphia 76ers fan, I've been a fan for my whole life now, okay? I've never in my life experienced such a bitch. You know, I'm, I'm going to really go into deep, <laughs> oh, man, deep bro, detail. Wild, because, bro. no, 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 it's insane because we, we, as a, we as a team have had so many heartbreak. And for you to come out here and say you don't want to play for the fans of Philly because you fucked up in the fourth, in the playoffs against the Hawks? Come on, man. Come on, man. man. Turned our back. Turn no, 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 no. He turned out. He no. He turned his back on us when he when he de- uh, elected to pass the ball to Matisse Thibel at, when, without. <laughs> yo, no. I'm sorry, yo. Dunk the fucking. Oh, yo, you a six ten muscle. Dunk the ball, yo. This man was scared, and now you know what I'm saying. He out in 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 uh in, in uh where he live? Yo, Calabasas. You know what I'm he saying? Here, Soaking up the right. sun, and not trying married. to play basketball. <laughs> Still ain't working, yo. They ain't gonna get married or something, yo. That's fuck that nigga, yo. But that's you know, that's what it is. Is what it is. Huh? I gotta, I gotta ask you one. What do you think? It just simply, as far as where Ben Simmons could take, simply like we were just talking about accountability. Where, 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 where does he play a fault at in all of this? Whether because you don't seem to agree that it's necessarily as big as on him as Javen does. Um, Charmin. I mean, I'm a, <laughs> I'm gonna say <laughs> one thing. I can say, I feel like when it when it comes to accountability, yes, he definitely does like that within himself but i feel like if we being honest if if he was just listen if he was in a, if he was playing for a system and a team that truly cared about his player development oh so it's the that team would now. that would happen i'm just saying bro it's not all on one person team. Yes, it it's is. Not all no, on it's, it's all on one person. It's him. It's, it's no He's way. the only one. He's, <laughs> it's, it's only it's him. No it's only him. One. I know y'all can stop paying that man. It's right? only him. We y'all, had y'all, 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 y'all so could, persistent y'all as a bitch. It doesn't matter. Yo, yo, he doesn't care. Y'all He'd rather be broke. Paid, oh my gosh, man. I don't care. He married, bro. He need to suck it up. No, he. Yo, how do you go? Look. How how do you fathom going to play on the highest level of the game and then get upset when people criticize your game? That's what comes with being at the highest level. When you're in the spotlight, people are going to talk about you, regardless of whether it's good or bad. And then when it's bad, you know what I'm saying? You get mad, you cry, and you go home, you want to play with the fan, and we'll be here. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, yo. Come on, I man. I don't think he asked for that, though. I don't, I don't, I feel like he probably didn't even ask. What the, f- what you mean he asked for? He got, like yo, he has to be viewed yo, like that, yo, this man, yeah. Yo. Is he a, like, spotlight kind of a guy? I don't actually hmm. know or not. I mean, like, like yeah. As far as, as, he, as far as the off the court life, does he like He date, he was, he was dating the Kardashian, one of the Kardashians. Oh, I mean, how yeah, more, that, how much that, more in the spotlight yeah, no, can you be? Yeah, no, that, how much more in the spotlight can you be? That. Yeah, I'm about to say, like, what? Yeah, that point, but I mean, R- who hasn't who hasn't dated a Kardashian though? Niggas and all them niggas was in the spotlight. What I'm saying, that ain't that ain't like, like, like no, that's, that's common. Yeah, it's common. Hold on, nah, cause now we gotta go through them. Kanye, Reggie Bush, uh, one Chris Kevin, Lamar Odom, Tristan Thompson. Look at oh my god, Tristan Thompson. God damn, Tristan Thompson. <laughs> yeah, Lord, this nigga's doing everything but playing basketball right now. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Bro, yeah. they be Just... tracking that man. <laughs> yeah, because he be leaving he traces. Can't, he, can't <laughs> caught, bro. he be leaving traces. He's not, yeah. Tristan Thompson, bro. He, yeah. Just go, yeah. I guess, I mean, he played for the Kings, so I guess what else can you do, right? Ain't nothing else to do. Them niggas ain't winning ball games, so. But might as, well, might as well score another way, I guess, huh? Accountability. <laughs> like, yeah, right, crazy, right. Man. He's just <laughs> accountability. Y'all take responsible for your actions, man. Like yeah, that, that's just that's just what Ben to, don't do. Apparently, he's trying to do something about the situation. Apparently, know, he's trying man. to do something about the situation. But but I guess we could start off for everybody. What is accountability, really? But like, what would you say accountability is, and what does that look like in team? Man. To me, to me, that looks like being able to understand a situation, 
and 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 your part in it, your role in it, and knowing what you did and did not do, and saying and being able to reflect and say, okay, you know what, this is what I should have done. If I didn't do that, that's on me. Next mm-hmm. time, I'll do better. Anti Ben yeah. Simmons, you know what I'm saying? All right, bro. <laughs> Now his ass is getting rolled. He getting rolled this whole episode, Joe. Yeah. Unloading the whole clip. Pause. Just, yeah. just Pause. Pause. <laughs> you clowning them all episode, man. Nah, That's what it looked like to I'll me. I'll probably yeah. say the same. Uh, like a similar thing. Uh, I yeah. feel like accountability is is pretty much. Um, you look at a situation, and regardless of the outcome, whether it be positive or negative, you accept you know, saying the, the consequences of your decisions at, the, at that point. So I feel like at least how I look at the word accountability, that's yeah. how I look at it. Like just being, you know, responsible and accepting whatever decision you do, whether it be good or bad. Yeah, yeah. honestly. I think, I mean, although I, I'll go in any kind of like story being told or any kind of situation, context matters. But I mean, when it comes to accountability, I, the way it comes in my head when I like translate that to myself and thinking about it is you take all the context and all everybody else's part of this story out. Purely okay. tell yourself straightforward, no kind of extra, oh, I had to do that because, or, oh, I felt like this, so I had right. to do that. Uh, take all of that out of there. Just flat out say what you did in the situation. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, and, and acknowledge Own up. what yeah. part of it was good it and what is. part of Own it was up. bad. And if it was uh-huh. something you just uh-huh. it was bad, you just gotta be like, damn. Uh-huh. And what's bad. really bad is is uh, missing a, you know, What's really bad is missing an opportunity when it's presented to you so close, uh, about two feet away from the from the basket to, to be exact. And wow. that's really that's what's really, you know what I'm saying, is not <laughs> you know what I'm saying. If you can't account for how many steps it would take for you to get to the basket, how could you really be accountable in, in your life? You know what I mean? <laughs> so you know. You know. Man was trying to get his assistant, bro. He but he didn't even get the assist, and that's the crazy part. Bro. He didn't even get the assist. We got one point out of the Got one point, but in his head, in his head, it would have been two points either way. Either way, either way, it would have been two points. That's in his head. that's so ass. That's but so ass. But he he said, you know what? No, no, just listen. He said, I'm not gonna be selfish. I'm gonna pass this bitch off. And Philly criticized that nigga. That's wild. That's it's wild, not. Bro. It's really not wild because, wild. like I said, at the end of the day, you get a ball to. At the time, niggas, niggas ain't even never seen Matisse Thybulle take a free throw. I couldn't even remember the last time I seen a nigga take. I think that was the first time I actually physically seen him take a free throw, and I watched every game, and he break both of them shits. Like that was, I was. I mean, I'm sorry, he break one of them. He make well, yeah, he make, yeah, he make one. I'm, you guys bringing up this actually makes me think now and it makes me wonder so what part as far as accountability goes how much do you guys think people like skip bayless or stephen a smith or uh any of the other just you know basketball figureheads chris bruce or nick wright uh any any of them uh-huh. how much accountability do you think that they need to take i mean obviously they just give their opinion so whether you take it to heart or not it's completely up to you. But for people who don't watch the games or watch them regularly yeah. enough, there's a perception of players that is painted that just flat out in certain instances just really isn't true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, uh yeah, Stephen A. Smith is the in my opinion, is the golden boy for that, man. Like Yeah. Like narrative, you get... bro, he's he's that guy to just make but it, I think it's make messed it up seem though. like a player is one type of way. Mm-hmm. But, that, but that's what so they do. That, that's that's what they trying to do, though. But that, that's, yeah, that's that's their, that's their the nature of their job. Yeah, that's the nature yeah. of their job. So yeah, it's like you can't not criticize uh, and judge athletes. Yeah, you know, whenever you do something wrong, it's the worst thing ever. When you do something right, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> no matter how big or small that shit was, you know what I'm saying. And um, yeah. them, I'll tell you what though. Also, them um. Just real quick, that's the last thing I'm gonna say about basketball, except for mm-hmm. Benson is a cry baby ass. But the last thing I'm gonna say about basketball is um somebody needs to take account of I'm sorry, the Hornets announcer need to take accountability for how much they're riding LaMelo 
uh, during the season. Yeah, I'm sorry because this is hey, insane. Bro. Yeah, this is I insane. It be, it be some crazy clips. This it is really insane. Him, yeah, K. Rozier and Miles Bridges, bro. Yeah, he go it's, crazy for all of them, bro. It is insane. But let it, let I mean, be, let it be. You would have thought. May, let it be Mason Plumley, Plumley, who get a dunk. He quiet. He's dead silent, bro. Dead yeah, silent. Yeah. Bro, I'm scared. Terry goes. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. L- no yeah, matter with I, the inbound pass. Oh yeah, my no. god. That's like what? Because he really be screaming at this. That man, Terry. How, like, how do you <laughs> do? Like, yeah, yeah. How do you do? Like, yo, what? Yeah, yeah. With it's insane. Lamelo. It's insane. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, it's insane. It's insane. <laughs> And speaking from so then, just on the topic of all those cats there, where does accountability in the workplace fit in for you guys? What does that look like? And not just in the workplace, but just in work in life, period. When you're just working in life in general, whether you're working on studies, whether you're trying to build a business, whether you're working a nine to five, just yeah. whatever. A- accountability at plays a big part especially in work when it comes to how far exactly you want to go yep. because i feel um i feel like if you don't if you don't take accountability in your actions like i say whether it be good or bad you know as far as even if it comes to work um i feel like you know if you don't acknowledge your actions you won't be able to learn from them and this is probably more so on the aspect of like bad but if you so like if you're um, like, you know, just even if you're like an entrepreneur, you know, and let's say things aren't taken off how you want them to, but you're not you're not accepting the fact or taking accountability into the fact that you not even, you know, what I'm saying putting in as much work as you should. You know, you're not 24 hours, like 24 seven day in, day out working on yourself or your business or even if it's somebody who's like working at a regular job and they want to you know what i'm saying move up and stuff like that if you're not even you know doing what it is you need to do to 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 move up and be successful but then you keep you know doing the same things over and over but except you know expecting a different result you know it's kind of like you're not you're not taking accountability of the things that you're not doing you know and stuff like that as far as like um the things that are hindering you from moving forward and being successful so smart and responsible, yeah. Really are, man. Really inspiration to the kids. I try, man. Honestly, try, man. Like for the children. That's what I'm saying, man. Like Thank geez. Cause I'm just saying thinking like, <laughs> damn, like I hope I would never have to go up against a, against you at a, for a job interview. Jesus Christ, they look back <laughs> at my record. They be like, cause yo, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. It be it be sometimes, man, especially like when you working young. And like you just be like, get that feeling like before you going to wait, like I ain't doing shit today. Nah, nah, fuck mm-hmm. that. I ain't doing nothing. Nah, nah, they gonna they nah. You know what? Nah, they had me working nah, too hard. Me. Cause they yeah. had me working too hard. Nah, not me. Uh-uh, I ain't doing this today. You go in there, you know what I'm saying? And then right. they, they tell you, you be like, you be like, yeah, whatever, I'll do it. Put the gun right down, I'm like doing that shit, kick it to the side. <laughs> you know what I'm like that it had me sometimes, yo. And that's me like a lot. I go in the work like, yo, I won't fucking be here. I don't want to do this shit. I don't want to do this shit. But I do agree with you, though, as far as, like, how you have to be, especially if you're trying to start your own business and shit like that. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, you're accountable for everything that goes on in that business. That that is you. Like, when it trickles down to everything, you know what I'm saying, it goes back to you. You know what I'm saying? Your name on them papers, your name statements, everything. And if you can't be accountable for yourself, how are you going to be for accountable for your business, for your employees? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a trickle-down effect. You know what I mean? So, it's very, very important. Very, very important, you know? And honestly, you like you said, but on the flip side, like I was saying, with the whole not feeling like you want to do shit, that's how a lot of people get fired, too, before they yeah. even know it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. A lot of people. And, you know, like that whole accountability thing, like I said, sometimes... Some people really just don't feel like taking the blame. Like it's so combative when it comes yeah. to like something that happens. So, like for example, like um, 
you you take calls for a living or whatever. You get pulled up on a call. Be like, hey, you was talking a little rude to the customer. He was like, nah, I wasn't even like that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just me and he's talking about you giving all these excuses, like it was they said this to me and you know it made me feel yeah. this type of way. But instead, you could just been like, you know what, you was right. I apologize. I'm sorry. You know, I didn't mean to do that. I could definitely sound a little better next time. And I'm gonna do that. But then instead, yeah. you act like that three, four more times. You do that. Yeah, you out of there. Yeah, like, you know, they, 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 they say, you like you're the problem. You know? I said they gonna hire Abdul. Like he ready to go. Like, he, <laughs> he, he, he ready to get it <laughs> right. They gonna, yeah, Abdul ready to get that good customer service. So respectful and all that. And uh -huh. Both bring up very valid points. And one of the big things for both working a regular job and um starting a business is uh, as far as accountability goes, something that could be done with that would be like. uh I mean, something simple as just attendance slash punctuality as well. I know there's a lot of people that come. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen cats uh, dip out on their like lunch break, and this and this is years back too, bro. This cat, I remember. So we're about to go into lunch in like 15 minutes. Uh -huh. This dude grabs his phone and he's like, "Yo." They can make like I can go ahead and pick up like this hot and ready pizza from just up the street. This man said, "Hold on, uh, wash my stuff," and he left out the building. Came back twenty minutes into lunch with a hot and ready, and then clocked out for lunch. And then, oh. <laughs> and then Yo, he got the pizza and... first. Oh no, nah. that man looking out for himself. Oh. Bro. That's what's up. <laughs> Uh, we all we <laughs> all know one of them. Right? Oh, he nah. left the building, went and got his own food from elsewhere. Came Hold on, let me ask you something, bro. How long was the lunch though? Thirty. Yeah. All right then. Yeah. He, Yo, yeah. it's funny though, cause you know Justified. every job, every job has those like those set of niggas, and at some time you might have actually been one of them guys, yo, that felt like. Like y'all been here so long, yo. Like I don't even I can do whatever I want, yo. And he I'm he definitely sound like one of them guys. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, he get up and do whatever you want, yo. Stroll it late to work. It's all about <laughs> just knowing what how things are coming your way, really. Yeah. It's, it's just yeah. knowing about how things are coming your way. And really, again, that's also leads into taking accountability. That's how people really uh and it's really scary for some people. And I think that it makes them from almost even a fear of success to a degree. And the reason I say that is because it's like once you start facing that, so many things get unlocked for you. It's crazy because yeah. everything stops being out of your control it, when uh -huh. it never was out of your control in the, yeah. to begin with. But uh -huh. now it's finally stopped being out of your control. Now you know to change these things. Uh -huh. now, now you know that, but it's hard to face these things in some instances as yeah. well. And that should make it that make it hard to trust people, yeah. You yeah. gotta make no accountability, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hanging around with somebody who would have a hard time taking fault in anything. That's make just, you like, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's crazy, yo, because you would never know, as an employer. I feel so bad for employers for niggas like me, man, because you would never know. Um, like you would never know from there from the interview, man. You know what I'm saying? You sit down, you look real nice. So, I'm like, oh, of course, yes, ma'am, yes, sir. So, uh, yo, yo, like the fifth day on the job, uh, I'm coming to I'm coming to work in sweatpants. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, got my headphones in. <laughs> like, I run this bitch now. Like, this this man. me. Like, <laughs> they hit you with the hit you with the uh, morning, Javen. She is like, slow motion. Can't call it. <laughs> Like, Dude, what? Damn, bro. Hold on. What, is, what, what did he say? What was that? Shit, slow motion can't call it. <laughs> Yo, what is that? What what slang was that? Hold up. What, you know, what sequence of words was this? It's funny. It's funny too because even like how you how we were talking about how people like you know those certain people who don't take accountability. Those are the same people who throw every other nigga under the bus, bro. No matter what, no matter what the situation is, like y'all niggas could be. You know what I'm saying? Doing something y'all ain't got no business doing. And of course, everybody, you know what I'm saying? All y'all got to play a part in it. But instead, this nigga might be the one that, well, shit, I don't know nothing about that. I was just, I was just, you know what I'm saying? I was just here. Nah, nigga, just because you was the fucking driver don't mean you was just 
in a, in just a situation just it. just there. Yeah, nigga. Just you, you know you what we was doing, it, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm still thinking about what what was that sequence of words that you, that sentence was. I've never heard that before. He said slow motion. Uh, what? Yeah. Nigga, oh, what? Yeah, what y'all was niggas, that? Oh, yes. oh yeah, y'all. Uh, what was yeah. that? I'm laughing just because that sequence was funny. I had. Yeah, no, I was about to say the way, that, that. the way he said that. The way he said that. You were here down south. I don't, I don't you sounded like a nigga on a Harley bike, like at the red light. <laughs> like that's what you sounded like. Slow motion. <laughs> don't call it. <laughs> like See, what? No, nah, that's serious. That's how people be talking. What hey man, that's, that's, that's tough. Hey bro, how, how you how y'all yeah. day going? Shit, slow motion can't call it. Slow. It's just like that. Whoa, I'm ready. Right. Nah, yeah. let me not say that. Yeah, let me not say that. I'm probably going to probably stick me up for that. Hey man, hey, there's some new slang you learn every day. A slang I heard from New York was these bitches don't put no milk in my cereal, B. Fuck them. That's kind of tough, bro. <laughs> That's kind of tough, bro. That's kind of tough. That's kind of tough. Yeah. Hmm. Posting a picture tomorrow with that caption. Yeah, bro. I wish these bitches would. don't put no milk in my cereal. My going. Hey, nigga. These bitches don't put no milk in my cereal. Fuck them. Yeah. Straight up. That's hey, straight up. Shout, wow. shout out the man from New York who said that. Bro. Hey. Hey. Him. That nigga has accountability. Hey. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> he, he wasn't. He wasn't wrapped up in the charm or none of that. He no, he wasn't. No, milk in his cereal. no, he knew. He had to let him go. He said, you "This shit is he dry." <laughs> wow. Jesus well, Christ, man. So then we go and transition from work to relationships. Ooh. And that's a broad Ooh. One because when I say relationships, I don't Ooh. just mean romantic. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean Ooh. Relationships in general, relationships with you with romantically, relationships with your friends, relationships with your family, with your teammates, with your teammates. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. All right. Relationships with your teammates. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. There's no Ben and team. You know, let me talk about that though. Um, accountability because in sports and in and within a team setting just in general. Um, because feel me, it's really important. Like there is no like on, on some real shit, though, on some real shit. Like it's really important because there is no team without accountability. Like everybody plays an intricate part in this team. So with Ben, I mean when your team member doesn't, you know, do the intricate part that they're supposed to do, like it's almost like a um, it's almost like you know, like the gears, you know, like one gear don't work, the whole you know, the shit don't you know, it don't move. Yeah. So, you know, that shit is just yeah, you can't be like you can't like sit here and not want to take blame when you do something wrong, you know what I'm saying? Or at least look at yourself and not be able to assess, like, okay, man, like I'm not actually helping the team right now, yeah. you know what I mean, or the overall project message whatever i'm not yeah. contributing right now let me let me like, you know, let me get better do. yeah let me let me say, let me get right you know what i'm saying like ain't nothing wrong yeah. with that it's funny you say something about that because you can train it starts like the first uh start of that would come from basketball but then when you translate it to just other aspects of life as well there's a real problem with that in particular exact thing that you were talking about, Javen, and that is there's a lot of people that are hell bent on not just winning, but they want to win their specific way. And if they can't win that specific way, they don't care about winning at all. <laughs> Bullshit. It's forget, <laughs> it's forget the, it's either my way or the highway. Forget uh. the dub if I can't if I can't be the reason mm-hmm. for it. If, if it doesn't go the way that I would like it to go. Well, there's nothing for me to really do here. Right. <laughs> I, and then that's really a it's a strong thing, but it's a really bad thing because not everybody's good enough to have that demand. Frankly, mm-hmm. there, there's true. a certain level of skill, not not just talent, but like skill, re- refined and acquired skill. Not and again, not just in sports. Period. In mm-hmm. business, like you need a certain level of like knowledge. <laughs> To reach certain levels, to make things weird, like awkward. 
Really, like it just make like it make things weird when you like yeah. one person don't want to own up. Like it's just like everybody look in the room like nigga, you we know you did this. Like why? Like you sitting here really trying like like no, it wasn't it wasn't me. Like you're caught. It's in 4K. Like we have the instant replay. I mean we have the footage. Like it's mm -hmm. right there. You know what I mean? Like we saw you, Ben. I mean we saw you, teammate. It's All cool. Right. It's My like goodness. we know what you did. Like just own up to it. Like it's cool. Well, we got we got to spring Ben out of this, so we're gonna pivot yeah. this to relation to to accountability and familial relations. Okay, and I think that there's something within that as well, where it comes to uh, uh oh, okay. Here's something: is definitely the fact that uh, although you can't necessarily do it in a lot of ways, especially coming from your biased viewpoint in relation to the person. Also, as well, the power dynamic may be a little weird depending on the family. But for the most part, you don't even feel comfortable doing it. But holding, like, your parents or your parent accountable or your guardian tough. accountable yeah. for some of the things could be that tough. have. Yeah. And, and actually acknowledging those things. Not just being like, eh, that's how I grew up and that was life. But actually looking back and thinking, like, oh, that was... Nah, cool. That shit was fucked up. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Cool. And it's a lot yeah. easier to do once you get away from like that situation. Like me personally, mm -hmm. like I've um when I've like when I first moved out, um I just started to realize more and more like like damn yo like this is like this is like why I am like this in my life or like this is like this situation. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just like sometimes you start to get mad. You be like man, what the fuck man, like. Damn. You know what I'm saying? You just get a little mad, yeah. but then but then you start to realize, like, and then you start thinking like even more like, man, like were they raised that way too? Like maybe they was raised that way. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then you start to kind of just be like, hey, you reach out and be like, you know, I really like the way you did things back then. Like, you know, why did you do this? Cause you know what I'm saying? It made this and that happen. And we really gotta talk about that. And like you said, a lot of people really don't feel comfortable doing that. Like having those tough conversations because you grow up thinking like mom is mom is right, dad is right, and I'm a kid, so I'm always you know like no matter what you're always gonna be wrong or something like that. So mm -hmm. it's tough. Yeah, and yeah, that's, that's a very tough situation. Yeah, just even having, the thought. Yeah. Uh, just even having right. the thought, not even even uh, having the conversation with them or per uh, se, just even just having the thought of something like that for a lot of people definitely can be a tough thing. And then I would also say as well, uh, I mean, I, I feel like this one's not as hard because the uh, bond is a lot closer, but holding like a sibling accountable for some stupid stuff, <laughs> for, for something stupid. Oh, I do it all the time. Yeah. For when they do something stupid, it's just, <laughs> yeah. it's just like you're looking at them or you say something, it's like, yo, what is this wrong especially, with you? Especially, <laughs> especially, especially when they, when they do something that, you probably have done in the past and you probably told them like all right bro don't just don't do this one thing and they do it and it's like nigga i'm gonna tell y'all this story man i'm gonna tell y'all this story man don't judge me man i really don't care because i was i was a little kid when it happened so fuck it whatever right. <clears throat> so when i was a kid this was one night man i used to I used to be real afraid of dark, you know what I'm saying, when I was a kid. As, as most kids are, you know what I'm saying? I was really young, really, really young. Shut up. I know you're already laughing already, man. I ain't man. say nothing, bro. Come on, yo. This I'm man, being respectful. Bro. It's I'm supposed to be a respectful. safe place. All right, it's safe. You're good. All right. So, you know, as most people do, most kids especially, too, you know, a lot of kids got to, like, use the bathroom in the middle of the night. You know what I mean? So, are you recording? Yeah, hold up, yeah. As it's not already, as if it's not already recorded, anyway. It's crappy, yeah. But for me, so I had to use the bathroom, you know what I'm saying? And I was really scared of the dark. I wasn't, you know, I'm vertically challenged, so I wasn't able to, to reach the lights as a kid. I couldn't, I was like, ah, ah. Couldn't reach. Vertically challenged? Yeah. That's the first time. I mean, you know what that is. Yeah, I know what you mean, though. Well, that's because y'all, that's because, you know, us short people, that's what we say. You know, we it makes us feel better about ourselves. Vertically challenged, uh, hey, hey, you know. Do what you do, man. Do what you, you do. You know, not really blessed with height. But, um, yeah, so I couldn't really reach. <laughs> I couldn't really reach the lights. So I really had to pee, man. So ended up uh, 
ended up peeing in my trash can, um, like straight peeing in my trash can. And it just so happened that my father used to go to work like early in the morning. And it just so happened that that he was just out and about and he heard the sound of the, of the piss hitting the back of the trash can. And he came in the room, <laughs> caught me in mid piss. And I mean, that's, yo, my man, yo, my dad was mad. So he was like, what the, he was like, what is going on? What are you doing? No. Yo, and then started getting, yo, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Started, you know, doing parenting in the middle. I'm like, in the middle, what are you doing? I'm like, yeah, I ain't, I ain't with me. But yeah, so I tried to lie and say that my sisters told me to pee in the trash can. Try to lie and say they told me to pee in the trash can. And, um, you know what I'm saying? It just gave me, it's made the ass been even stronger, like it even stronger after That's he figured wild. that out. Yeah, they definitely they was not trying to cover for me. It was like, no, no, we would never tell this nigga to do some dumb ass shit like that. Never tell him to do some <laughs> dumb shit like that. Um, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? And that's you know, that's when I, I you know, that's where it all started. As far as after that, I was like, nah, I'm taking accountability for the rest of my life, never getting ass with me like this again. This shit hurt. You know what I'm saying? And um, on top of that, he made me get on my hands and need to clean that uh, that trash can out, as I should have, as I should have done. You know, maybe clean that shit out. But, um, yeah, that was, man. Yeah, 16 was a wild time, man. He said, hey. 16? <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, as, you know, as as things go on. <laughs> <laughs> 16. Hell no, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, no, hey, man. No. Hey, hey, man. No, no but yeah. About that, bro. No. But man, yo, you know, on some real man relationships, like you know, what I'm saying, it is, it is very, very important to have accountability. And I even teach, uh, spoke, I uh, spoke, speak on the damn God, stuttered Jay, speak on the romantic side of relationships. Um, very, very important, man, because you, you gotta be able to really like check each other you know what i'm saying like because when you have like a relationship and it's like both sides are like yes men or yes women you know what i'm saying it's just like nobody is is really holding anybody accountable telling anybody like yo this is not right like we can't yeah. be doing this you shouldn't be doing that i shouldn't be doing that you know what i'm saying and sometimes like you like you, you feel like because that's my significant other i want to like just agree like you just automatically feel like i, I yeah. should just agree like because that's what i okay. should do and i mean sometimes you know what i'm saying like depending on the situation yeah but you know like when it comes down to like real shit like yo you just gotta be real that's at the end you're of the wrong, day that's the best wrong. thing yeah if you're wrong you're wrong that's the best yeah. thing to do you know what i mean so that's that's i think that's one thing and it's just like how you said in relationships um like holding your partner or significant other accountable like Obviously, if they're wrong, you know what I'm saying. No matter what the situation is, let's just say it's a it's it's you and your partner, and they're in the wrong, and it's like a third party who they're going against. Even if your significant other is wrong, I'm not saying like just completely agree. Of course, you would agree to save face to show that y'all, you know what I'm saying, together and shit, and y'all, you know what I'm saying, just supporting each other. But like behind closed doors, you still supposed to check them. Like, hey, nigga, like, hey, you was wrong uh-huh. for that. Like, hey, you wrong as hell for that. Like, shawty, like, you was tripping or like, you know what I'm saying? Just yep. you still gotta find a way to hold them accountable, but not. I mean, we're not saying embarrass them like in situations like that, but just still hold them. Accountable Sometimes, for yeah. Actions, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. No, for, for, no. Also, also, real shit though. Like, are you talking about like behind closed doors? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Especially, yeah, you know, also real, cause like, <clears throat> you know, like you get into, you get into a fight at a bar or something like that, you know, and it's some over some stupid shit, you know what I'm saying? Like you drunk some stupid shit, you know, girl, your lady, yeah, she at the moment she was supposed to be like, nah, you're not gonna talk to him like that. Ah, uh, no, you ain't gonna do that. No, you know, you're not gonna do that. Yeah, no, cause this, this is what we gonna do. Yeah, and then you know, as y'all walking away from the situation, right? And you, you little bitch, right? Yeah. And then as yeah. soon as you get in the car, what the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> right. No, right. you're stupid. That's what you are. Yeah, I'll tell you right true. now, you're you're dumb. No, like yeah, that's what you supposed. That's what's supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not wrong. It's no. It's not wrong. Don't embarrass me in public. Me. Yeah, don't There's do it in public in front just, of everybody else. Yeah, but just, you gotta ride. You gotta ride together, together like that. Yeah, of course. yeah, yeah, ride together. Then, but yeah, 
And then from yeah. the introspective side of things like that, also as well, what a lot of people, again, are almost seemingly scared to do is check yourself or at least look at yourself first in these situations as well. Yeah. Once again, everybody is very quick to, to really do. throw a lot of what's bothering them or what's wrong with them on their partner and mm-hmm. kind of get upset when their partner can't fulfill what it's not their job to fulfill in the first place, really. Yeah, looking in the mirror is scary, you know? it is for anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's where and, that disconnect where accountability comes yeah, in. Yeah, once go ahead. Again, that's like the biggest key to uh, not the biggest per se, but it's like the gateway drug or the gateway. Like, bro, it's really like the gateway to success because mm-hmm. once you actually look at that and you acknowledge that and you can't turn back from being like, if, plain and simple, you can't act like you didn't see what you just saw. You could, yeah. I mean, you can. But you would be knowingly deluding yourself at that mm-hmm. point. You saw it. Yeah. You seen what you really look like. You seen how that <laughs> made yeah. me for real. You can't just go back to blaming people after seeing yourself in its most down bad form. Yeah. That being the case, it's really it's only two options. You either live with it or you change it. And I ooh, ooh, just just let me just touch on the, this one thing before I forget. Touch. I need people. I need touch. people to. <laughs> I need people to really that hold, hold their friends accountable for the bullshit they be putting on, bro. Them clothes. Yeah, like, speak, yo. Yes. Bruh, please, 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 bro. Please hold them accountable, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't yeah, let yeah, your yeah, man's walk on like, some dumb shit. Come on, shit. on bro. Come on, no, bro. Yeah, like, we, we let's, let, like if y'all know y'all, yeah. if y'all know y'all trying to like, you know what I'm saying? If y'all meeting up with somebody or something like yeah, that, or y'all man. going out somewhere and you know your man's or your homegirl fit lacking, tell them either they need to go ahead, redo yeah. that, retry, or just something. Cause it's been just listen, don't man. go listen, back man, that's, them out there like that, bro. That's just, that, that's, that's, that's what packing was for. Yeah, that's what packing was made for. And they had your friend with the weak fit really mm. thought they killed it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? They oh, they, they did, and they and didn't. They, they didn't. They did. They did. They, they, did. Didn't. they didn't. I remember that in back in high school, we was going to a party. On I remember this. We were going to a party. It was three of us in the car, and we were picking up a fourth person. The fourth dude, we pulled up on his house, and he came walking down the driveway. This man had on, oh man, what was it? I think it might have been a Nautica. I think maybe <sighs> uh, old, like polo shirt. Ah, uh, uh, it was all the way buttoned up. Well, Unbuttoned. Uh, oh. We used to wear an article. Though. Well, here's the thing, right? <laughs> oh, let, me, let me let you finish. Oh, uh, so that, that, was, that was the first part of that. That was the first part of the fit. That part. Mm-hmm. Was the no. Black, you know what I'm saying? White accent. Unbutt- unbuttoned. Uh, and you had the collar popped. Oh, man. Oh. Then oh. he had. He had the <laughs> no, no he lord. Had, he had the he had the the khaki cargo shorts. You feel me? The the, the, the light tan cargo shorts. Uh, I'm talking minimum sixteen pockets. The Hey, did he uh, have the um? Did he have the little two strings hanging from the side of the yes, cargo? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, Lord. yes. yes. Wow. Yes. Oh, oh, they they was adjustable. Oh yeah, Lord, yes. uh, nigga, had nigga had tassels. Nigga had tassels on the, oh, on the cargo shorts. Yeah, yeah, he had the he had the regular pockets, the pockets in the yeah, front nah, thigh, bro. the pockets on the. And side Juan said thigh. this this right. nigga's jeans was graduating. He said he had the Man, tassels on the. No, no. Tassel, yeah. <laughs> Put that bitch around. Oh and then no! He had on. Okay, so then this, this is the part that would confuse me. Because yeah, with the shoes, yeah, what the shoes look like? They were and one, right? Oh, No, no, that's that's the fact. No, that's the fact. It was the fact that those were, and I can <gasps> verify this, were his grass cutting shoes. No. <sighs> <laughs> because they had the grass stains. Who the fuck was y'all picking up? Over, oh, you I was know picking exactly, up, Kyle. You know exactly who you were picking up. I'm not even going to say I really, you know I, I truly you know, know yo. Know. 
That's but just crazy. know he had the grass cutting shoes on after that as well. The grass he cutting the shoes. Car. Everybody was like, "No, yo, you know, we not about to pull up to the party like this." He was like, "Man, stop playing. Let's go. Let's roll." Bro, the dude driving literally took the keys out the ignition and <laughs> sat him on his lap. He was like, "No, <laughs> go in and change." Yeah, bro. That's... We not pulling up to the party with you. Uh-uh. Just like yo, who I had a, yo. I gotta it, figure out who this was. It's funny. That, that remind me of some uh, when I was in. I think I was maybe in middle school, but at this time, I had a dude that was a partner of mine, and he um at this time like in Atlanta. For what for whatever reason, bro. Lano. I don't know. I don't know how it started, but the whole like emoji fit tough. track suit, like oh, when that nah. came out, bro. Oh, like the God. I'm talking about like Buddy had the whole like sweater, the joggers with the cuff tapered Jesus at the bottom Christ. by the ankle. He had the bucket oh, cap. No. My man's had the socks on. And he you thought he, be, uh... he, he thought he killed it because he had some fresh ones on, some Air Force Ones. That man did not kill the fit, bro. And I had to tell him straight up, we was kids. I'm not feeling that. I ain't talked to bro in years. Years. That's not. We went to they, high school together and everything, bro. That man was hurt. He was hurt. Because I blasted him in class. I told him how that was. Remember that day we saw that, that nigga Craig at the, um, oh, y'all, y'all know who Craig is. Uh, that nigga uh, Prodigy from Mindless Behavior uh, at the oh, damn man. Towson Mall with an emoji jog, uh, jogger suit on. Nigga try to tell us he was like no no autographs no autographs. he was like nigga I don't mind what your damn autograph <laughs> yeah the, yeah what what was it the uh, the white yeah, tracksuit or the black sure. one yo no nah, yeah the black one yo the emoji the black emoji joggers yo like it's, it's the fact that people had like both sets though like the white and the black then they yeah. had different sets with different emojis on it, it listen uh yeah, no no, even, I'm no. So surprised that that fit really was just. If you yeah. like on the rage, if you if your fit came in a set on one on one rack, <laughs> that's not that's not good. Like that's that's not good. Cause you know how like you you know how you like you go to Marshalls, yeah. yo. You go to the yeah. kids section. They got the they got the whole fit right there, like head to yeah, toe, yeah. like on the, the rack. Whole thing on that, <laughs> if your on shit that came on the rack, hanger. you got yeah. to go. Yeah, your you shit was on the mannequin. If yo, emoji yeah, on the yeah. No, hell yeah. no. Got yeah, to go. I think that that right there, you know what's so kind of about it? Hey, this is just a theory. I have no way of proving this, and there's probably an actual reasoning behind what I'm about to say. But I think that the sooner that that settles in for people, and I think that that really is dictated off of how you were raised, I think that is truthfully when maturity actually settles into an individual not age but yeah. when they start taking accountability mm-hmm. no matter yeah. at, at the age that that happens once you start taking accountability that's when you start maturing yeah and that settles yeah. in for different people at different times because if you're subjected to a much realer situation as a youth uh, you're hit with reality much quicker yeah you're, you're hit you're hit with the reality like damn if I ain't got it, they don't care about me at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how it is. I'm just left out here to the wolves. Because if, if, you, if you ain't got it, bro, if you ain't got it, somebody else do. You know what I'm saying? So you just putting yourself at a disadvantage. You know what I'm saying? By not trying to progress. Yeah. Accountability, y'all. Yeah, you're going to hear a lot more of it moving forward. I hope you're going to hear more of it in general. Although society is leaning in the direction that they're slowly but surely starting to get rid of it, but that's yeah. a whole discussion for a whole another topic and you know, a whole another day. But it starts with Ben Simmons. All right. Oh, okay. He ben, can change the tide. He can change the tide. Here, for... Dodge died out the window, and follow yeah. us on Twitter and Instagram at Inside Wolves on IG. Inside Wolves One on Twitter, and we have a link tree in the bio brings you to all the other stuff. And if you're on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you for peeping us out. And once again, Inside Wolves, we are out.